Hi folks, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of April, uh, April, July 2nd, 2019. The charts in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis and they come from the Trade Navigator software. Um, I'm going to start with the weekly bond market here, but look, we're probably not doing anything this week. Have a safe and happy 4th and enjoy yourself and that's really it. That's the short version. Uh, longer version, after an inside week last week, they're, they're kind of looking like they want to test the highs again. They've held support around 154.27, uh, which is a little surprising. Wouldn't really expect them to be that strong. They're making me very nervous. The momentum indicator is kind of like pegged up here. And fundamentally, I don't see a reason for interest rates to keep going down necessarily, but really doesn't matter what I think fundamentally don't trade off them and this market just doesn't show any signs of wanting to go down yet um, you know they could they could test the old highs here 5617 is the old high and uh, you know they're already up above the one in the 156 area so that's possible resistance but gosh the you're not going to make a living. I know I say this frequently. You're not going to make a living selling a market, making new highs. That's just not a good way to go. And they're a little too nervy to me to buy up here. I don't really see anything to buy. So kind of locked out. And, and as I'll explain later, this is a particularly bad week. So let's move to stocks. And in stocks, we, you know, gosh, here we go. After this break here, we've turned right back up and poking through the highs again. Uh, it's a possible triple top, but gosh, they look strong. They're they're not showing any signs of, of backing off, really. Um, kind of looking at, uh, at 29, 25 as being the support this week. They haven't even been within smelling distance of that. They're just higher and continuing up. And there's really nothing to look at up here. I mean, sure, we've got the upper Keltner channel, but again, this is not only new highs, this is new all-time highs. No, don't sell them. Yes, they're going to make a high at some point. You don't have to be the hero that sells them. Neither do I. And so there's just not much we can do. Now, on top of that, we have a 4th of July holiday. Now, I know that's not a holiday in the rest of the world, but it is in the U.S., so trading will be awfully thin. And there's a good chance that traders won't really be coming back in on Friday either. They'll just take a long weekend. Well, that's really dangerous because we have the monthly employment report due out Friday. Uh, gosh, a big report like that in thin market conditions, there is just no telling where that market could go or how fast it could get there. And I would prefer not to be caught in the wash. So uh, not only is the analysis not really clear this week, but the, the setup because of the holiday makes it a really, really difficult week to trade. So, you know, seriously, best advice, just don't. Just don't. Enjoy your holiday, eat and drink till you're happy, and take all three-day weekend to relax and enjoy it.